Hello, in this topic we are going to see how to create a schema, a table and how to create a package. Let's start with the schema. As we discussed in the previous topic, schema belongs to the catalog folder. You can think of it as a folder which holds a set of tables and associated artifacts. The only way to create a schema is by using a SQL command. To use a SQL command, you need to have the SQL editor. So we see we don't see any SQL editor right here, so you need to access it separately. There are many ways to access the SQL console. One of the ways is to right click on your system and to click right about here. You can also access the SQL console by clicking on this blue icon. Okay, I'm going to write a simple SQL statement. So, create schema and let's give it a name. Let's call it training. Let's have a semicolon. So, I've given syntax called create schema and then I've given a name called training. You can execute this code by using F8 or clicking on this green icon right about here. So schema has been created. So you see the success statement here. Generally, if you run something and if you see black text, that means your statement is successful. Otherwise, this color would be in red. So the, the schema has been created. Now let's go and check if the schema is created. I'm not going to save this, so let me just say no. Before you check it, I advise you to refresh this system so the system knows the new state of the database. All right, so let's go ahead and check. In the catalog, we need to see if we have created a schema called training. Okay, so training is right here. And let's open training and see if you have any artifacts inside the schema. Now inside the tables, we don't have any tables. So we're going to create a table. For creating a table, there are multiple ways to do it. You can naturally use a SQL console and write out SQL commands. You can also create the table from using this help editor. First, let me create a table using the editor and then we can create the table using a SQL command. Okay. So let's create a table called country and you can select the schema which, which you want to store this table inside. So you have all the options here and you can select any one of these options. The schemas with the underscore are all system schemas. So you don't want to use them to store your artifacts. You can create a table either as a column store or as a row store. This is the time to select and make that option. So you see that you have two options. You can make it as a row store or a column store. For this example, I'm gonna keep it as a column store. And you can always change it at any point in time. It takes one simple command and you can change any table from a column store to a row store and vice versa. Let's give some column names. So we will say country, let's keep it workout and this is where you want to give the dimension. So we can say 15. If this is a key, you can select here. This is not a key for us. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not select it and you can leave a comment and if, it's a, if you want to program a default value, you can do that as well. The population needs to be an integer so you can select your data type from any one of these data types. We we'll look into these data types a little bit later but for now we just keep in mind that HANA supports all standard data types. So let's say integer and we don't have to worry about the other columns and then let's say we need another column called country underscore ID. So this column is going to be our primary key. So this is going to be a primary key and it's going to be an integer column and I'm not going to leave any default or comments. That's it. Let's create this table. So click on F8 or you can hit your green icon. There it is. The table is created 
and it has been success, successfully executed. Okay, so if you see here, you don't see the table because it's the same problem. You have to refresh your system every time you make a change. So now we see a table. Let's close here real quick. Okay, I'm lost. So we can go back to Windows and say reset perspective. There you go. It's a very handy tooltip. So this is our table which has been created inside tables of the training schema. And if you want to check the metadata, you can simply right click on it and say open definition. There are other options here which we will see in a later presentation. So there you go. You need you want to check the table name, you want to check the schema, you want to check the type and naturally the column names and the data types. There are other ways of creating table and there are multiple workflows when a table gets created. For example, in terms of data provisioning, a table is automatically created for you. We will see that in the coming topics. Okay, I'm going to create a table using a SQL commands. So I already have it for you. We can save some time. Okay, so by now you know where is the SQL console and how to access it. So right click on it and you have your SQL console. And then let me paste the code. So this is a very simple code. We have a set of columns. We have a primary key and this is going to be a column table. That's only new syntax which you are seeing. Everything else is answer SQL. And we want to give the schema name dot table name. So right now this is a placeholder and you want to change it to training. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways. One is to write it directly as you go or another easier way to do is go to your schema and just drag and place it out here. Okay, let's go ahead and run this code. There you go. The table has been created. Let's go and check it. Obviously, you won't see it, so you're going to refresh it. All right. Now you know how to create tables in two different ways. Let's take a look at how to create a package. Packages are a part of the content folder and packages are nothing but folders which contain all the information models which you create. Okay, so creating a package is very easy. You can right click on the content folder. You can say new and you can create a package. All right, so let's give it a name. I'm gonna keep the same terminology here, training, and the description you can give whatever you want here. Now you can associate this package to a delivery unit and this is not a mandatory step right at this time, but it's something which you will do eventually. We will take a look at it in a later, later topic. Okay, so we have the package created. We want to probably go ahead and check it. All right, there you go. There's your package and your package is empty. Now, if you right click on the package and if you say new, these are all the artifacts which you will be able to create when you're modeling session begins. That's it for now. Thank you.